Welcome to how to record macros in Excel. In this video, I am going to guide you step by step on how to record your first macros to automate repetitive tasks. First, let's look at our Excel workbook. Let us ensure that developer tab is visible in the ribbon. If it is not there, here is how to enable it. Click on the file tab, go to options. In the exit option dialog box, choose customize ribbon. This is where the developer tab is. Select it and click OK. You will have your developer tab appeared here. All right. So today we are going to record our first macros. How do we do that? Go to developer tab, click on record macro, give your macro a name, removing, removing blanks. All right? So the shortcut key for our macro will be control W. All right, let's click OK. Now, any step we take, every click we make on these sheets will be recorded. All right, so let's click on this column. Now, let's do Ctrl G. Go to Special. Click on Blanks. Click OK. Now, I'm going to do control minus to delete entire row click ok now we have just recorded our macro let's stop recording now we have recorded our first macro so to view the code recorded go to visual basic go to modules module one so this is what we just recorded, all right? We selected column A and we highlighted the blank cells and we delete entire row. So these are repetitive tags. The keyboard shortcut is Ctrl W. Anytime you do Ctrl W, all the empty cells will be deleted. All right, let's go back. Now, let's make use of what we just recorded. Let's create empty cells. Let's create empty cells. To test our macro, to delete empty cells from this list, we're going to do Control W. That is the way. All right. So we can link our macros to a button so that whenever we click on that button, the macro will be run. So let's go to design mode, click on insert, go to form control, and paste your button. All right, so let's link it to a macro. The name of our macro is removing blanks. Now let's click OK. Now let's leave design mode. So anytime we click on, our, on this button, our macro will be run. So let's create empty cells here. Creating empty cells. Now let's remove all these empty cells from our list click on the button can you see that is how it is done that is how to record macros in excel see you next time please subscribe